Traders, how the devil are we? Trader Tom here from Simply Forex, the channel created to help you conquer the markets. Today is Thursday, the 21st of March. And as always, guys, we're going to start by looking back at yesterday's trades. But if you stay till the end of the vid, I'm also going to give you my trade ideas for today and the important news as well. So yesterday, guys, you know, hold on to your hats. It was all about the Fed interest rate decision. And what was ever, whatever was said, we've seen, you know, weakness in the yen, weakness in the US dollar, strength in the Aussie dollar, you know, and it went a bit crazy. Um, but, for, you know, for us, we had a great trade, guys. Any of the Swiss franc pairs would have been a good trade yesterday. And that's what we were looking at. So let's start with the trade that I took, and it was Aussie dollar Swiss franc. Yeah, and we were looking to buy it. So why were we looking to buy it? Well, if we follow price structure, yeah, we were in an uptrend. Yeah, higher lows, higher highs. Um, and we was in a slight range as well, but we was at the bottom of the range with a nice big wick here. Yeah, telling me buyers are in the market and we just wanted to take it to the top of the the range, if not further. OK, and, you know, look, look at this trade, guys. I've just closed the remainder of my trade up here. So let, let's explain how we entered. So if we drop down to the H1, I've been using the H1 to enter a lot at the moment. All right. And I can barely zoom in because the move was so severe. Let's do this so you can see it better. Um, so, yeah, we just follow H1 structure. Yeah, and then bang. Yeah, when we got this break of this candle here, this is where I entered. We're above the moving average 20. This candle confirms the H1 uptrend. And I started buying here, put my stop loss below this low. And as you can see, guys, price shot off. So my first target was here. Yeah, where I closed 80%, all right? Um, and then I let 20% run because, you know, we, we know there's the Fed interest rate decision coming out. It could go either way, um, but, you, you know, you have a totally risk-free trade because you've already closed 80% of your trade. And then if we carry on, guys, as you can see, price carried on up, and I've literally just closed the, the last 20% up here for a very nice profitable trade guys yeah really nice trade happy with this one um and that was the same for all of the swiss franc pairs that we looked at yesterday um sorry guys just picking breakfast out my teeth um so pound swiss franc was exactly the same um why is it not there we go uh, again, we were in an uptrend. I won't spend too much time on these Swiss franc pairs because it's exactly the same trade, yeah? We had a nice bullish candle, bullish wick. This is the day chart. Everything was telling us to buy, and we were potentially buying up to here, if not here. Uh, and again, did this give us an entry? Aussie dollar Swiss franc gave me the best entry, which is why I took it. But... You know, looking at these, you know, this is a good candle. Yeah, this is a good candle. If not, this is a good candle because it breaks these highs. So there were a few opportunities here, but the CPI news in the morning made this a bit scruffy to trade. All right. So again, I preferred Aussie dollar Swiss franc, but you were still made some nice money uh, on this trade. And then the last one was uh, Canadian dollar Swiss franc. And again, yeah, that was a nice trade. Um, if we drop down to the, if we look at the day chart, yeah, why were we looking to buy this? Well, again, just follow structure. We're clearly in an uptrend. Yeah, we're getting higher highs. We're getting these higher lows. Yeah, lots to like, yeah. In an uptrend, bullish candle, bullish wick, price carried on. Okay, all the clues are there, guys, to tell you that price is going to carry on. Um, and then if we drop down to the H1, if you remember, I was just, it was all about this level, okay, and just finding uh, a break of this level. But this was difficult because of these wicks. Yeah, these wicks closed back inside, then we're like, will it break, won't it break? And it wasn't until this candle here, really, 
yeah, that we could start buying. And then the trade, you know, does it make sense? We're here. You know, you need to put your stop down here. So, yeah, again, Aussie dollar Swiss franc was the best setup, but you would have made money on any of these Swiss franc pairs. Uh, and then the final one we were looking at from yesterday was pound US dollar. And this was just news. Yeah, you know, I, I know it, the news affected pretty much every currency pair. But, you know, obviously US dollar pairs are going to be the most affected. And this was the case. Um, pound US dollar, we were looking to buy it. Yeah, because we were down here and we had this nice bullish wick. Yeah, we're in an uptrend, bounce off the moving average 20 and this area of support. There was lots to like about this. If we drop down to the H1 or the H4, it was just a case of, you know, a structure break. And this grey zone represented the structure break. But when we got the break, it was news driven. Yeah, and look at this crazy buck wild candle and i can't enter on that if i enter on that my stop needs to be here yeah so you know this it's just the the risk to reward isn't there we get a retrace today you know there may be um so yeah really nice trades from yesterday a uh, very profitable day uh let's take a look at today's trades now guys if you enjoy receiving my trade ideas and my analysis every single day then please come join the channel we'd love to have you please subscribe to the channel right now smash the notification button so you receive an alert every time you post a vid and if everyone could please smash the like button it helps the channel and keeps the editor happy um Right, trades for Thursday, the 21st of March. Uh, before we get started, guys, if you haven't already, come join our trading community. All right, you've got like minded traders sharing knowledge, trades, ideas, experiences. Come join it. It's on the free Discord. Don't be scared of Discord. All you have to do is just create a username and we let you in. Yeah, simple as that. So come join our trading community. Um, right now, we also have a really great promotion on our VIP Trading Academy, where I give you all of my trade signals, all of my tutorials, and you have direct access to me. Also, if you would like to be coached one-on-one, -on -one, drop us an email and we'll send you the details of the mentorship program. And finally, guys, if you would like to support the channel, um, you can become a Simply Forex YouTube member and there's loads of perks for doing so. Check it all out. Also, don't forget, join me for the live stream, 8 a.m. New York EST time. We've got a guest for you tonight as well. All right. All the information's in the video description. Right. To make sense of today's trades, we need to make sense of the Fed reaction, the Fed interest rate aftermath. And basically what we're seeing is, is lots of yen weakness and US dollar weakness. And this hasn't necessarily you know, meant that we've had a lot of trades, but th that's generally what happened, right? And this yen correlation i just want to show you this guys so you can see it also led to the indices tearing up as in rocketing yeah so this is the s p indices are flying that means the yen finds weakness yeah there's a, a re inverse correlation between yen uh and the indices all right so if yen is weak probably the indices are flying and that's what we're seeing with this correlation and also again what was said in the fed interest rate statement or or the press conference we don't care yeah i, I wouldn't waste your time trying to make sense of it all all we care about is the chart and what has happened all the information you need is in front of you and it's also led to us dollar weakness all right so let's see how that's produced some trades for us today um, some yen pairs, as with US dollar pairs, so let's let's take a look at a couple. You know, so some yen pairs, Euro yen's a good example. You know, we're literally uh, okay, maybe not a good example, but we're li we're literally at these daily highs. You know, will it close back in? Okay, and US dollar pairs, you know, not all of them were trades because we're again we're at resistance or support like us dollar canadian dollar you know we're, we're at 
uh, support. So there's no room. All right. So that was the case with a lot of pairs. But I have found some currency pairs to trade. It was it was tricky to make sense of it all. There's so much went on yesterday. Um, but yeah, I think we've got some pretty good trades to look at. Let's start with our old faithful, the Swiss franc. And that is still weak as well. All right. So not only have we had US dollar weakness, yen weakness, we've also got Swiss franc weakness. Again, if we look at Euro Swiss franc, for example, there's no room for it to go, right? We're at these last highs. If we look at Aussie dollar Swiss franc, yeah, we, we've, you know, I've just closed a, you know, a great trade, but there's no more room for it to go. Okay, so our first Swiss franc pair to trade is this Canadian dollar Swiss franc, because this still has room to move into. This is the day chart. And as you can see, this is the next area of potential resistance. And we're not there yet. So this 6590, it'll probably, if it reaches there, it'll probably go to 6600. Okay, so why do we still like it? Well, let's take a look. So we're, you know, we're still in this uptrend. Okay, yeah, we're still in an uptrend, higher lows, higher highs, right? Still in an uptrend. And we had a nice big bullish candle yesterday. It has a little bit of a top wick, but look at the size of the body. It's far bigger than the wick. So we like this trade to take it back up to this blue line. This is actually setting up right now, right? If this H1 candle finishes like it is now, I will, yeah, I will enter this. Okay, so you can see, guys, we're just following H1 structure. So price was, was coming down, price sideways, 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 and then kapow, news, yeah, and it's found this level now, okay, which corresponds with these last highs. What was once resistance becomes support. We see that time and time again, all right? If we get a nice bounce off this level, yeah, we can buy it and look to take price up to here, all right? So that's the first trade idea. The second trade idea is pound Swiss franc. Again, this still hasn't reached its target. If we zoom out, you can see the next area of resistance for pound Swiss franc is up here. Yeah. You can see all these levels and this gray zone. Yeah. And so it still has room to move into. Um, if we zoom in now, yeah, again, nothing's changed. Yeah. We're still in this, you know, very bullish uptrend. Okay, we're seeing bullish candle, bullish wick, bullish candle. All right, and we're going to take it up to that blue level. If we drop down to the H1 now, yeah, um, you know, this might even be a H4 play. Yeah, if we just take a look at H4, yeah, you can see we're in this uptrend. And if we get a nice bullish H4 candle in here, yeah. Why not? Let's let you know we can start trading it, take it back up to here, leave some profit to run. All right. So that's what we're looking for. A, a bullish reaction, even on the H1 guys as well. You know, if we okay. The only thing about the H1 is, you know, this was really the last low. You know, has it broke it? So I'll probably wait for a H4 bullish candle now. Um, but pound Swiss franc, we're looking to buy that. And then, guys, as you, uh, you know, as when I started um, this, uh, I explained about US dollar weakness and no, none more so than pound US dollar. This was actually a trade from yesterday, um, but, you know, still a great trade for today as well. Um, follow structure. Yeah, we're in an uptrend, pound US dollar. We retrace to the moving average 20 and this area of support. Again, what was once resistance becomes good support. See that time and time again. And then candles do not get more bullish than that. That is more bullish than um, a ball. <laughs> Couldn't think of any famous balls. Than a Chicago ball. There you go. Um, yeah, super bullish. The idea is just to take price back up to these daily highs. Right? 
Uh, the problem with this is getting in on this one. If we look at H4, you know, we, we've clearly had a structure break. Yeah, I mean, if you just follow H4, structure, bang. Yeah, we just need a retrace. Yeah, we've got this grey zone. It'd be nice if it did retrace to here. Moving average catches up. We get a bullish reaction, and then we can start buying. Um, if we look at H1 quickly... Yeah, I mean that grey zone still looks good. We just we just need a retrace of some description before we start buying. And any of my trades, I put all of all of my trade signals I put in the VIP Trading Academy. So if you're interested in receiving my trade signals every day, check out the VIP um, Trading Academy in the video description. All right, so pound US dollar, and then uh, remember we also spoke about yen weakness as well and our final trade is new zealand yen because this one has room yeah a lot of the yen pairs didn't or a lot of the yen pairs were overbought this one isn't right so um just following daily structure let's start back here so we can understand structure right this was in a downtrend yeah stopped making lower lows always a red flag and then kapow yeah uptrend yeah not only is it broken this high it's also broken this high okay all news led but you know again we don't care about why the news happened what happened in the news we care the chart is showing us to buy this all right um if we drop down to the h1 now is, is that a really nice interesting level now okay um so price is in an uptrend it's retraced what was once resistance becomes support i mean how many times have i shown you this pattern today yeah time and time again bullish reaction and we'll start buying this pair um i've got a bit of a decision maker you know to make i, I like new zealand yen i like cad swiss franc like now um so yeah we'll take a look at that very shortly um so yeah those are my trade ideas for today guys all right um let's take a look at the news now so news for thursday the 21st of march uh guys before i start if you're enjoying the vid enjoy my analysis enjoy my trade ideas then please subscribe and please smash the like button um so overnight guys we had some you know far far better than expected employment data come out of australia and that explains all of that aussie dollar strength we're getting yeah really good figures um but after that guys if, if yesterday wasn't a big enough news day then hold on to your hats this one will be as well right so first of all we've got the interest rate decision coming out of switzerland yeah all the central banks keeping their interest rate the same so 1.75 percent we can expect 1.75 percent yeah but then again guys it's, it's more what's said in the press conference but all of this is obviously going to lead to some swiss franc um craziness volatility uh, and remember we want to trade the swiss franc so we must be aware of this it's just news after news today. Same time, 8.30, we've got German manufacturing and German services PMI. 30 minutes later, this is all London GMT times. 9 o'clock, we've got manufacturing composite and services PMI coming out of the euro. There's more at 9.30. It's like news, big news, big news, big news. 9.30, more PMI. Composite, manufacturing services all coming out of the UK. And then more big daddy, big mummy news, right? 12 o'clock, midday, we have got the interest rate decision of the UK. Again, central banks keeping their rate the same, um, so we can expect it to be the same. But these are important for, for this. You know, these votes unchanged or vote to cut, vote to hike, these are very important. If these are slightly different than expected, then we can expect strength or weakness in the pound. OK, must be aware of all that. Um, if we carry on, there's more news. So 12.30, we've got coming out of the US, we've got initial jobless claims and continuing jobless claims and Philly Fed manufacturing. All right. Um, after that, yeah, more news. 1.45, coming out of the US, we've got manu more PMI, basically. Manufacturing PMI, composite and services PMI. 
If that's not enough, at two o'clock, we've got existing home sales. And then if you've still got the shirt on your back, um, you can have a lie down after that. Yeah, there is lots of news. If you're still awake, you have got some CPI figures here for the yen as well, just for good measure. All right, so a super busy news day, guys, right? You know, tread carefully. Yeah, we don't want to be in trades with some of this news coming out. Um, guys, don't forget to join me for the live stream later on, 8 a.m. New York EST time. Have a great trading day, and I'll catch you later.